So the enjoyable film Hindi Medium has come with its second installment but with no connection to the previous film Angrezi Medium. The movie like the first film still focuses on the Indian education system and the challenges faced by parents in providing maximum opportunities to their children but portrays an entirely different story this time where the first film portrayed parents moving into a slum in order to portray they are less privileged in order to get a seat for their daughter in a reputed school this film portrays the life of a single father Champak Bansal played by Irfan Khan that faces the monumental task of paying the tuition fees of college for his daughter Tarika played by Radhika Madan who dreams of studying in London A mere snack seller in Udaipur with the help of his brother and business rival Gasita Ram Bansal played by Deepak Dobriyal partake on a journey by hook or by crook making sure Tarika gets the opportunity to study in an international institution the hurdles they face the absolute pandemonium that takes place as they reach London and with all the madness shedding light on the pure and earnest relationship shared between a father and a daughter is the premise of Angrezi Medium here's me telling you the good and bad aspects of the film so that you guys can ultimately decide whether the movie is worth it or not the underwhelming aspects the dialect this feature is something which is a compliment to actors like Irfan Khan and Deepak Dobriyal more than a diss the first half of the movie is set in udaipur and as both the main characters are business owners born and brought up in rajasthan their interactions are in marwadi the actors perform the dialect with such ease and conviction that it is sometimes tough to keep track of what is being spoken about and the punch lines of the comedic dialogues set up the issue with the film is its length and the time taken to fully make you empathize with the main characters and on top of that even connect with the several new characters that get introduced the movie is 2 hours and 25 minutes long and should have spent its first half just developing the relationship shared between the father and the daughter and shed light on the other issues partially the problem is that the creators depict the warring businesses drunk conversations unfolding secrets and complexities of corruption within the education system with equal importance this led to the final edit of the film definitely extending and its intended impact would have been definitely way more if the sequences of the film would have been done away with specifically bringing me to the most important underwhelming aspect new characters and subplots the intention of the film is extremely pure to depict the unconditional love of a father and how it can make him go to any lengths to make the dreams of his daughter come true but in that process the director uses several tools in the form of fake passports new identities chase sequences getting duped by friends and a broken relationship between a mother and a daughter the problem is that even though the film's heart is in its right place it takes up too much in the form of new characters and subplots to come to its conclusion pankaj tripathi plays a caricaturish wheeler dealer whose sequence is undoubtedly hilarious that's the skill of the actor but his cameo appearance comes across as borderline silly the appearance of kareena kapoor and dimple kabadia's characters act as a bridge for the ultimate conclusion of the film as characters they do not lend several memorable moments but just act as a means to the end the good the performances a basically beautiful cast hogi then it's obvious that the performances of the film will be its biggest highlight irfan khan is a legend honestly the effortless nature with which the man speaks with his eyes is truly commendable if you even notice the pitch of the film it is really to perform the dialogues to an audience it demands for it to be of a certain gravitas but irfan is one of those actors jitna kam karte hai na utne hi bahut bol jate hai his eyes as they fill up with sadness noticing the helpless state that he is in or the sheer happiness in his eyes when he sees his daughter succeed in any way irfan is honestly the soul of this film radhika madan as tarika proves yet again the hungry nature of any outsider provided an opportunity with a meaty role she possesses such warmth in her role as the inquisitive and ambitious student radhika is one of those actors that has time and time again proven her worth as a capable performer these appearances slide away due to the financial performances of those films but i hope in which the masses can recognize the real stars when they see this film deepak dobriyal is another veteran kisi bhi role mein samaj jata his surface level torrid relationship with his brother but internally having only love for him will definitely win you over the three performers carry this film despite the innumerable twists and turns it takes In the smaller roles Kiku Sharda is brilliant being the pragmatic voice as the bickering brothers are constantly at loggerheads Ranveer Shori reminded me of the character from Bride and Prejudice proud to be from Britain hollow from within and just pretentious at the surface level from the accent to the entire get up from the material that is provided to actors like Karina and Dimple Kapadia they do a respectable job chemistry one aspect of the film that really stuck with me was the beautiful chemistry shared in the two primary relationships of the film one shared between Irfan and Radhika and the other between Irfan and Deepak i can honestly tell you that in every frame it genuinely felt like Irfan was looking at his own child so full of love and pride 
be it Radhika convincing her father of aspirations to study abroad or the father emotionally blackmailing her on whether she can live without him each moment really hits you in the heart the interactions are also beautifully captured in the small moments the father's reaction to any interaction with the opposite sex any promiscuous dressing it's real and on point Deepak and Irfan together on screen is anyway a treat but I have to confess they will make you uncontrollably laugh whenever they come together figuring out a foreign language customs and literally improvising as things develop these veterans literally shine on screen I have to also say that the beauty of capable actors like the ones in this film is that they really know what to do with empty spaces a lot of the acting in this movie is how you can capitalize in those silences and make these interactions look authentic the three actors really capitalize on making each interaction seem real. I want to conclude by saying that it is undeniable that the movie is of two halves. One that sets up a beautiful relationship with a dream and the second that adds too many elements as the story transports to London. Despite this happening, you should understand that the soul of the story never gets lost. Like Homi Adjania said, if on paper you read the script of the first film, it will seem bizarre that parents are willing to go to a slum so that they can get a seat in a prestigious school. But the heart of the film was always intact. therefore its impact also resonated with the masses this is precisely the intention of the film to take bizarre twists and turns that are so over the top but the soul of the film which is the pure and rather irrational love of a father for his daughter remains unfazed the film is a reminder to all us children that parents always come from a place of concern and love differences arise as their perspectives come from a world and place which is their reality and we often undermine and ridicule their opinion to be dated often forgetting when push comes to shove there will always be one person on your corner cheering you on no matter what the outcome of the several battles you face and that was a video guys write down in the comments below what you thought about the movie please don't forget to follow me on instagram the handle is right in front of you follow me at jammy pants for also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching